Hey guys, my name is Jason from Southern Land. In today's video, real quick, I'm going to show you guys uh, some simple steps that you could do uh, to unfreeze uh, your pipes. Because right now, it's going to get cold. It's going to get cold tonight. We got snow coming, probably. Uh, we got ice. It's about 20 degrees right now. A few things to unfreeze frozen pipes and to possibly prevent frozen pipes in your mobile home. One thing I learned was if we did get frozen pipes, I would put a space heater down here, small space room, space room heater. <laughs> and I would put it down here. I would watch it, of course. I would not just leave it down there all night. Um, um, of course, we didn't know that we had frozen pipes till the morning. So when the morning came, I would put a space heater down here and leave it in there for, it was about a couple hours. I would watch it throughout the day. And eventually it would slowly thaw out the pipes. Now the following year after that, I learned about heat tape. Heat tape looks like an extension cord. You can buy this at a regular hardware store. I'll put links down below in the show notes where you can purchase it. Um, but it's also heat activated or I guess cold activated. Uh, it turns on automatically when it gets down to a certain degrees and it puts off a little heat. It's not like a huge giant heat. It's just enough to prevent pipes from freezing. And what we learned by using this heat tape in the last four years is that it works. I have never had to use my space heater to unfreeze our pipes since we started using this heat tape. We have a plug underneath our mobile home and you plug in the heat tape. And again, it's like an extension cord. It looks like that. And so you plug it in and then you wrap it around a pipe. This is underneath my crawl space here. This is the only entry that I have in pretty much underneath my house where all the pipes come in. And here I have my water tank. It's all wrapped so it won't freeze. We have the main pipe that comes in through here and it comes in through a well that goes down that way. And now these are already kind of wrapped with foam which is great. Now what I did was wrap that heat tape with some duct tape. It's um, heat proof or heat uh, foil duct tape. Uh, and I just wrapped it around a pipe that I saw and it was a pipe that was not covered. All these other pipes were covered with foam, but this is the pipe as I saw that it was not. And it was really the only pipe that was going in the house. Where are you going to put the heat tape, right? And so I put it right at that pipe that I saw that was not covered, that was not insulated. And I wrapped the heat tape into the pipe using some foil tape as I wrapped uh, the heat tape around the pipe and then I plugged it in. Now in the summer, I'll unplug that heat tape, but then when it gets winter again, I plug it back. And it has been working wonders ever since. We have not had an issue with frozen pipes since we put in that heat tape. Also, it would help if underneath here was insulated, like the skirting here was insulated, but it's not. Maybe one day I'll, I'll insulate it. Also, what I think helps is preventing frozen pipes is leave your water on a trickle. Well, it's gotta be more than a trickle if you're gonna get down pretty low digits. I'm thinking like, probably like that. So, I'm thinking something like that. You could put a sponge so it's not so loud when you're at, when you're at night and do that while you're sleeping. And this has helped us also to prevent frozen pipes. And if you're like us Californians, which that's where we're from, um, we need to save all the water, right? We need to save the water. And so we would put a bowl underneath the water and save that water and then use that to water our plants the next day. For emergencies, that emergencies, that's why we installed this wood stove, really. That's the main reason why we installed it was for emergencies, like if the weather goes off, because we are on all electric here. If the electricity goes out, we're done, right? So that's why I installed this wood stove. And this has definitely been so helpful in heating this place up, because now we heat with wood, uh, which we get for free. And if there's an emergency, we will have heat for ourselves. How much wood did we go through so far this year? This is an A-frame that I built, and this was stacked high beginning of winter. We already went through one of these, so this is twice that we filled this up. So we'll probably go through another one of these before this winter is done, which is about under two cords of wood uh, for this A-frame. And I have plans for this A-frame if you want to check it out. <laughs> Alright, we're making dinner. Well, the rain's making dinner. What are we making for dinner? I am making some gluten-free tortillas and 
some I have some pork from our pigs the brothers and some beans that I had canned and then I have some kale that I just picked because we're expecting a winter storm so I was like we're picking all the kale so I'm just washing the kale now and then um, I'll put it away and then we'll eat some of it tonight what is that Penelope? I'm drying the kale yeah I'm gonna dry it. Is this dry already? Yeah. All right. So this is how you do gluten-free tortillas. They kind of look like pancakes a little bit, but uh, it starts out looking like a pancake, but it doesn't taste like one. It tastes like a tortilla. This is gluten-free. Sometimes we do einkorn, and those actually are like the real deal. <laughs> So these are made out of a little bit of almond flour and a little bit of cassava flour, some sea salt. I'm still messing with the recipe. It's not perfect, but it works. All right, homemade tortillas on this cold night, Penelope. Uh, I forgot to chop the kale. I washed it and put it away. <laughs> we got store-bought cheese, <laughs> store-bought ingredients for tortillas, kale from our farm. <laughs> Pork from our farm, beans from store. But everything is made from scratch. Everything's made with love. Everything's made with love. <laughs>